This is 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of Yahweh. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not Yahweh made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh, the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh. It pleased Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and honor glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakak, Wadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone. So you touch into you, I can push in this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies to live in sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. All right, so I just want to go into this lesson um, and basically why is it called the foolishness of preaching, okay? Why is it called the foolishness of preaching? Well, reason why it's foolish, uh, matter of fact, let me get a scripture. This is Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So us preaching, you know, it's you know, it it does what it does, you know. And you know, it it, it does what it does, you know. But the word of Yahweh Bashimi Asha is gonna the will of Yahweh Bashimi Asha is gonna be done anyway. And the fact of the matter is, um, we are, matter of fact, let me get another scripture. This is Luke 17 and 10. So likewise, ye, when ye have done all those things which are commanded, you say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do, all right? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahshua doesn't need us, all right? We, we, we're the ones that are in need. The scriptures call us the needy. <laughs> As Israelites, you know, whether you're of the elect or not, you know, because the whole nation of Israel technically is the elect, but there's elect within the elect, right? And with and um so as a whole, as a nation, we are considered the needy because, you know, we are in um, you know, our enemy's land. All right, we're, we're behind enemies' lines, you know. We're a city under siege. So, so we're so we're the needy, you know. This First Corinthians four and nine. For I think that Yahweh have set for forth us the apostles last, as it were, appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. We are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised, right? So we are fools for Hamashiach's sake. We're pretty much, you know, we're singing for our supper, okay? Because what the scripture says, um, let me get one. Uh, right, this is Proverbs 9 and 12. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself, but if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. So, hey, what you put in um, with your relationship with Yahweh Shemir Al Shah is what you're going to get back, pretty much. Okay? You're, 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 uh, you, us, us being wise, um, which is fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, right? Fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is the beginning of wisdom. So us being wise is just going to benefit ourselves. All right, because what does the scripture say? Uh, uh, 
Yep, this is uh, Job 22 and 1. Then Eliphaz the Timonite answered and said, Can a man be profitable unto Yahweh as he that is wise may be profitable to himself? Right. Can can you uh can you make the Lord's energy bar go up, right? Or do you put extra shekels in your in your how about Shemiyashah's proverbial pocket? <laughs> you know, no. You know, if anything, we um can only um profit our to our own uh salvation or destruction, pretty much. All right, by the you know, by the works of our hands and the words of our lips. Is it any pleasure to the mighty, to the almighty that thou art righteous? Right. Oh, you're good. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Great. Right? And we fall short at every step. You know, we, we fall short at every step. And you know, that's why we acknowledge Yahweh Shai's sacrifice and put him at the forefront of what we uh do, right? Or is it Gain to him that thou makest thy way perfect, right? <laughs> what does he gain? You know, did he did an extra pair of shoes appear in his spiritual closet? You know, no. Will he reprove thee for fear of thee? Will he enter with thee into judgment? Right. <laughs> Is not thy wickedness great and thine iniquities infinite? All right. So this thing's about the mercy of Yah by Shimei Al Shai, you know, because we got nothing but piled up sins, right, and iniquities every day, every second. There's not a, there has not been one second. Our whole birth was off, <laughs> you know. You know, this is just a. Um, you know what it is to be in in this flesh, right? And and in this uh this this hell that we're in, you know, it, it just comes with the territory. But you know, us being having any um, redeemable qualities, right? <laughs> All right, that would make Yahweh Bashmi Asha want to deliver us. All right could only benefit us. You know, <laughs> the Lord's not sending an angel like, we need you on the team. Like, it's a basketball team or some shit. We can't win the game without you. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> you know? But hey, if, if your name is written, then you're going to fall in place anyway. You know? But yeah, it's a little lesson I wanted to do. Hope there's some edification within it. And uh, shalom.